Okay. Uh, I hope this is good. I'm gonna try to film this in one take. So, okay. Oh, and I feel so gross. I don't have any eye makeup on. Like, no mascara, no <laughs> eyeshadow. I just have my eyebrows and some lipstick on, so I look somewhat presentable. I wanted to make this video, and I know that I haven't posted in, like, over a week or whatever. It's been over a week. I'm acting like it's been, like, two years. It feels like it's been two years. But I wanted to make this video before I get into my usual content again. Um, I just kind of want to say what's on my mind. And everything's good, obviously, but I've been really taking time to... Is this even... If it's not straight, whatever. I've been really taking time to focus on things and trying to figure out what I want to do and how to make things work and just to... I'm just trying to... Well, I don't know. There's just things I can't really talk about, but I'm just... I really took the time to figure things out what I you know what direction I want to go with my channel and other things that are outside of my channel that are going on that I'm super excited about and I've said if you watched my pendulum video that I did a couple weeks ago I was telling you guys how I feel like lost well, maybe not lost somewhat I felt kind of like lost and like you know I wish I had like a group of people to help me because I'm always alone <laughs> doing these things and Sometimes I just, you know, I said I wish I had someone that I can, like, bounce ideas off of and everything. And, like, it would kind of get to me. And, you know, sometimes I was like, well, is it weird that I don't have a group of people? You know, because I feel like every influencer, influencer out there has, like, a team of people helping them, you know. And I've just kind of done everything on my own. Okay, I guess I'm not doing this in one take. <laughs> Um, and I'm so freaking pale. Oh my god. But anyways, I'm wearing my Darth Vader onesie in my green. This is my Bethany, Bethany Moda jacket from like her line in 2014 at Era Postal. But no, what I wanted to say, so I had another video that was going to be posted today. I'm filming this the same day I'm posting it. Um, the video that I was going to post today, I'm posting on Friday because I have a brand new uploading schedule. Monday, Wednesday and Friday is what I want to do. It's what I've decided on. It's kind of, I'm going back to my 2015 ways. So it's kind of weird that I'm wearing this jacket because I used to wear this jacket all the time in like 2015 and 2014. I still wear it, but not as much, but it's kind of funny that because I'm kind of going back to my 2015 ways. I'm just, you know, like I'm growing up, I'm evol evolving and I want to do different things. You know, obviously it's all paranormal and everything, but I'm trying to do Sorry about the sound outside. I'm filming this in the daytime. <laughs> but I want to do more. Like, I'm trying to be more creative and just evolve my content, if you know what I'm trying to say. And just not put so much pressure on myself to, like, do it a certain way and just do what I want to do and be happy with what, with, uh, what I want to do. There's so much going on for me outside of my channel. And it's all paranormal related. And I want to, you know, eventually I'll be able to incorporate that into my channel. And I'm not down. It's just, you know, I have my moments sometimes and I'm just like, is this happening? Like, is this working? And it is working. It is happening. But I just want to evolve and just do more things that I want to do, which is all like scary, horror, paranormal related things, but I want to do it like in a different way, but I need to have a schedule because I just, I just feel so unorganized because I haven't had a schedule in like forever. I've been uploading like once a week for like the past two months, if that. So I want to really commit to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I want to get more into longer videos, which I have been telling you guys about, like, you know, for investigations and stuff, instead of dividing it into parts, I want to do like a full hour or 45 minutes. Or even when, you know, I do like my sit down videos in front of my set and I'm doing, you know, urban legends, ghost stories, whatever, horror stuff. I want to make those super long too. Like at least 15, 20 minutes, even half an hour if I can. Depends on the topic, obviously. But I really just want to... I feel like I'm just sounding like a, a broken record. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, I just kind of have been taking this time to really go within and really focus on what I want to do. What do I want to happen? And I've really kind of shut myself 
off from people. I've just really been staying, you know, true to myself and just staying in my own lane. I've just found that since I stopped scrolling on social media, I've been so much happier. You know, I've just been focusing on myself, focusing on what I want to do. I'm not focusing on other people and comparing myself like I used to. And I really reflect on things that I've done and that I've accomplished on my own. And, you know, I'm just kind of transitioning into a new version of myself, which that's, you know, the point of life. We're always transitioning and transforming and evolving and everything. So I'm definitely going through that right now again. Um, I just feel like a totally brand new person. I'm more confident in myself. I know what I'm doing. I'm not questioning myself. And I just think really taking that time, I think it's so important to take that time for yourself. And I've been giving myself so much self-love and working on my self-concept and just being really positive for myself, doing things that make me feel happy. I used to be so fixated and so attached to certain outcomes like I, I would not let stuff go and I finally let something huge go that like, I mean obviously I still you know love it and everything but I've finally let go of you know that grip that I was holding on for so long and I've just it's really transformed me like ever since I've done that I've become like a magnet for things that I love and just opportunities and everything and I just feel like you guys know I'm a huge manifester and everything. What's happening inside of you is literally what's going to be projected to you out here. And it's so true. But I just thought it was important to say this and put this out there because, you know, I want to get more into like deeper type videos. And I want to do more, you know, travel vlogs, doing more behind the scenes of things. And just really exciting things that are happening in my life. And... I'm, you know, it's just, it's so crazy for me. I don't know. You know when you're just going through this, like, transformation in your life and just everything around you is just so, it's like a weird energy, but it's a great energy at the same time. That's what I've been going through. I just almost feel like time has stopped in a way. It's so weird. I don't know. But ever since I stopped scrolling on social media and just really been in my own bubble, I'm always in my own bubble, but just really this time being in my own bubble and just letting things go that I've had such a grip on and everything. I've just been so much happier, so much more at peace. I feel more inspired. I wasn't feeling inspired for a while. I just felt like I was just doing the same thing over and over, but that's what people want to see too. And, but also I want to do different things and you know, like I'm not 15 anymore. <laughs> I'm not 20 anymore. People want to see more vlogs and everything, but I want to make it still paranormal. Like that is my base of my channel. It's paranormal. It's scary. It's horror, but they're still like, you know, I think that's just my personality is I'm a very like bubbly, crazy, energetic, passionate person, but I love dark shit. So it's just weird. It's this weird contrast and I love pink and I'm like super girly and everything. And you wouldn't expect me to be somebody who's into that stuff, but I am, like, I live for it, and I get excited over stuff, like, demonic shit, I'm like, oh my god, like, when I met Annabelle, I was like, oh my god, girl, like, I'm a huge fan, <laughs> the demon was probably like, oh my god, that demon loved me, though, I knew that, I know that demon loved me, I think demons do love me, <laughs> and see, like, I'm just crazy, I just, I don't even care, I just say what I want, and do what I want, and whoever watches me, watches me, and I appreciate you if you do watch me, but it means a lot to me, <laughs> sorry, I'm just, I'm really winging this, but I'm posting this anyway, so you guys can just, you know, I don't know if you relate or you need somebody to talk with you or whatever. But I'm excited for my new uploading schedule. I'm excited to be committed to this and to look forward to that because I just, ugh, I don't know why I stopped doing an uploading schedule. Like, I really don't. And, you know, here and there, I'll put, like, maybe shorts up and everything. You know, I do have a TikTok as well and, you know, I have Instagram and everything. It's just crazy how things that used to bother me just don't anymore <laughs> and just, yeah, I'm not holding on to, like, certain outcomes. Like, I'm not going to say, but yesterday, <laughs> I was so bummed out about something. And I'm not even going to say what it is. It's so freaking embarrassing. But why am I even bringing it up? But two of my friends know about this. And <laughs> I was so attached to this outcome. But I was only attached to it for, like, I don't know three or five days so it's not like it I was attached to it for years so now that it didn't really go the way that I wanted it to go I can get over it but yeah it was very sad for me yesterday it was just a bummer um 
but it's okay I will be fine but I had like this whole thing planned out and everything and it just went the total opposite that I wasn't even expecting to happen and I just was so sad about it like not heartbroken but you know you know when you just kind of have like this plan and then it just goes the complete opposite that's what happened to me yesterday so my two friends who know about that they're watching this they know exactly what I'm talking about because I just was so <laughs> obsessed with this wanting it to come in this way but you know what it's really funny how the universe works because when I went through that, when I found out that it went the total opposite that I was not expecting whatsoever, I got some amazing news, like literally 30 seconds after. It was so crazy. I was not expecting this. So very exci exciting um, news for me. And with like, you know, stuff that's going on outside my channel and that just made my day. I'm so freaking excited. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to inspire you guys too, because I like to talk about like manifestation as well. And Whenever you are at a crossroads or like a dead end or you feel that everything is going wrong and you're just like, it's, you're constantly just hitting roadblocks, usually that is when something amazing is about to happen. And you got to keep in mind, you just really got to think about that all the time. And that's something that I've really noticed and I think it's really cool too if you keep track of all these events and then you can look back on them like and when, when I say keep track like write them down or whatever and then you can look back on them and just be like wow it's so true like you know if we didn't have all emotions if we weren't sad or mad or angry or frustrated or whatever we wouldn't even really you know as much as you want to be like happy and all the time you wouldn't appreciate it as much if you weren't experiencing the darkness of it too but I just want you to know that when there is darkness going on there's always light at the end of the tunnel and I saw that light yesterday again <laughs> and uh yeah I'm just really excited but um yeah I don't know I, I'm probably gonna post this video saying like titled I wasn't gonna post this or something I don't know but I'm excited for like my future content and tomorrow I'm actually going on a podcast I don't think I can say the name it's one of my my friend actually she co-hosts it once a week and um, she invited me on so I'm really excited to do that so obviously like you know when it's out and everything I'll post about it so you guys can listen I've never been on a podcast before so I'm excited about that and um it's my friend Stephanie Strange you guys might know her uh but we're really excited so it's gonna be fun and um yeah I guess that's like all I wanted to say I just have new videos coming and I have like a new setup. It's kind of a dollhouse. I was inspired by the dollhouse episode from Are You Afraid of the Dark and also the dollhouse episode from Pretty Little Liars. I just love dolls and you know dollhouses freak me out but I love them at the same time so it's kind of like my new setup. I still have like my Hollywood dressing room setup but which you will see in videos. I'm kind of going back and forth between uh, the Hollywood dressing room and um, the dollhouse and then I have a seance coming up with all of my haunted dolls and items and it's in the dollhouse So I just got really inspired and I just feel more creative So I guess I'm, what I'm trying to say too because I'm just really winging this video is And I'm also waiting for somebody to text me back because oh, I'm so anxious about something right now in a good way Like an ex oh, I'm so freaking excited. I know you guys see my personality and everything But I want to show more of that like I'm such an extra person and I have so much fun dressing up in costumes for literally no reason but to just be feel happy and free I love doing my makeup all crazy and just you know kind of goes with my topics like I love matching my fashion like my clothes and my makeup to video topics it's just I've always been that way and I just love going the extra mile and going like above and, ab and beyond for a lot of things that I work on and projects that I work on I'm looking at um houses for the future and in like a totally different city which is my dream city which I will be living there because I'm back and forth a lot so it makes more sense to live there and if you didn't know that city is Las Vegas Nevada and yeah that's just the city I've always dreamed of living in and since I was 14 since the first time I went to Las Vegas and you know, I'm back and forth a lot 
from like the west coast to east coast and yeah it just makes sense to be over there i don't want to live in la i love visiting la if i had to live there for a bit then i would but i really want to live in las vegas and you know just travel to la because it's like what an hour plane ride or whatever i let you in a little bit i don't really tell these things but that's just kind of that's always been you know my plan and everything and you know like getting back though to kind of just feeling lost in life i guess it's like because at this point of my life i was really hoping to be married and i'm not <laughs> i want to be married i want a husband i mean obviously i want a boyfriend and then like you know we become husband and wife eventually and i want to film videos with my husband and you know go investigating he needs to be a paranormal investigator he needs to look like bill skarsgård he needs to just you know my perfect man he literally just like looks like bill skarsgård or he is bill skarsgård and he's into the paranormal he has the same sense of humor as me like if you know somebody send him my way please he has like that evil look in his eyes like be big beautiful bulgy eyes a strong like defined jawline tall he has to be six feet tall or like six foot to like six four or whatever um and he just has like this this like specific stance and glance and like stares i don't know that's like the physical aspects but you know personality wise he has to be like loving caring generous compassionate extra like me and yeah so i'm just waiting for him wherever you are in this world i mean i hope you're in las vegas because that's where i'm gonna be <laughs> um but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm just so freaking excited because I got like such amazing news yesterday and just, I don't know, I'm just trying to inspire you guys. If you want me to do more sit down videos like this where I talk about it, maybe I can do my makeup or something, kind of like kill two birds with one stone because you guys want me to do more makeup looks and everything. But I'm also, you know, traveling and doing things like other projects and filming for that and then I'm going to post that and I'm going to have way more things to post on Instagram because right now I don't. Well, I do have other stuff that I want to post, but I can't post it. I'm not allowed to post it, but other stuff I can be posting soon. So I'm like really excited about that. I'm just want everything to be out there. So I'm excited, but nobody even knows what I'm doing. <laughs> I just keep saying I'm excited of everything happening out here, which I am. I've worked for it. I've been dreaming of all this stuff since I was 10 years old. I've waited 20 years. 20 freaking years and I finally am like living my life and just you know everything's coming up aces aces it really is hey look ma I made it has like changed my life and same with high hopes I listen to the songs of the daily I never get sick of them they are my manifestation songs manifest destiny like everything do you want to know what's so weird too oh my god speaking of high hopes I was wearing a hoodie yesterday um it's a hoodie that one of my viewers made me and it says stay up on that rise and it's so weird that I wore it yesterday when all the stuff was happening. Like when the bad stuff happened. Well, it wasn't really bad. It was just a bummer and just super embarrassing on my end. <laughs> but I just had like this whole like vision and everything planned out. And I was so attached to this outcome for like three to five days. So it's not like a huge, it's not like I need to get over it because it's not like it was in my life for that long. But, um, yeah so after that happened then i got amazing news about something else and i was wearing that hoodie and i call it my manifestation hoodie so i find that really funny and like yesterday my day was made after i received that news so just you guys gotta realize your lives can change for the good any second your mind is so powerful and i'm always i want to remind everybody like literally you can see it in your mind what is that quote from albert einstein I don't know the exact quote, but it's basically what you see in your mind is the preview to future events. And you got to believe that it is so true. It is so true. When you look back at your life, good and bad, what were you thinking? What was your dominant thoughts? What was your dominant visual visualization in your head? I'm telling you, you can believe it. You cannot believe it, but it's crazy. My life has changed dramatically in the best way ever since i changed my mindset ever since i changed my mindset but anyways i'm gonna end this i don't want it to be too long but then again i do want longer videos but i just thought this was like a good time to put this out i just feel like i'm missing some points that i wanted to say but and yeah so i'll keep you guys 
updated on the podcast I'm on tomorrow with my friend Stephanie. And we're just going to be talking about ghosts and paranormal and everything. It's going to be a fun time. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics, Michael Jackson. Hashtag team, Brie44. Hashtag my brother friends. Hi. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm going to go put on myself tanner. I'll let that soak into my skin overnight. And then I'm going to do like face masks. To, or actually, no, I can't do that tonight. I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to do a face mask. And then I'm going to apply my self tanner. Put my hair up. Relax. Watch some Harry Potter. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. I hope that everyone is having an amazing day. And I'm sending like good vibes your way. So much love to you. And aces, aces. Everything's coming up aces, aces. Stay up on that rise and never come down.